Hi, I'm Isaac Orr, and I research the intersection of public policy, geology, and economics for the Heartland Institute. Horizontal hydraulic fracturing, also called fracking, has greatly enhanced our ability to produce oil and natural gas. In earlier videos in this series, I talked about the positive impacts of fracking on local communities, including the benefits of cheaper energy, lower greenhouse gas emissions, and economic prosperity. Today, I'm going to take a look at the impact of banning fracking. Myths and misinformation about the environmental and health impacts of fracking have led some to call for an end to the practice. Horizontal fracturing has been used for more than 15 years in over 33 states in the U.S., with only one state with significant deposits of natural gas, which has banned the practice. In 2015, New York State Governor Andrew Cuomo banned fracking, even though the technology has the potential to create economic prosperity in some of the state's more rural communities. As I discussed in an earlier video, claims about the health effects of fracking have been based on studies that have been shown to be deeply flawed. More credible research conducted by Dr. Ted Them, who is currently the chief of the section of occupational and environmental medicine with the Guthrie Medical Group in Pennsylvania, among others, has shown no significant health risks from fracking. But the ban gives us an opportunity to contrast Pennsylvania and New York. Both states are rich in natural gas reserves. In Pennsylvania, fracking has led to an economic boom. In New York, many rural communities are economically depressed. In Pennsylvania, the energy industry today employs 31,000 people at an average yearly pay of $93,000. Prior to the use of fracking, Bradford County, Pennsylvania suffered from one of the highest unemployment rates in the state at 10% in March of 2009. Now, the county has the lowest unemployment rate in the region. The benefits of fracking extend to the entire state. In fact, the Pennsylvania Department of Labor estimates a total of 214,000 jobs have been created in the state because of fracking. The increase in jobs and economic opportunity means more people can afford things such as home improvements, better health services, or higher education for their children. In contrast, the economy in areas of New York with significant natural gas deposits remains depressed. New York state officials have estimated that fracking would have created 25,000 jobs in the southern tier of the state, an area of New York with some of the highest unemployment rates. Also of note is that many of the protests supporting the fracking ban were located in the New York City region and not the region that would have benefited economically. The ban prompted Jim Finch, a town supervisor in the southern tier region, to say, we have no jobs and no income. The richest resource we have is in the ground. Fracking has made the United States the largest producer of oil and natural gas in the world. Instead of outsourcing our energy production, we are putting Americans to work in living wage jobs and revitalizing local communities, all while reducing our carbon dioxide emissions. There are safety risks involved with any energy resource, and accidents have occurred. But banning fracking, instead of continually improving its technologies and processes, only creates a serious setback to all the economic and environmental progress that we've made. This is Isaac Orr for the Heartland Institute.